so if you follow me on Twitter or Facebook or whatever, you know that I got my extensions yesterday. Yay! I did tape a bunch of stuff uh, before I got my extensions, so you'll notice um, that some of my videos coming out still have my old hair, my boring old hair. Um, there is also a video coming up this weekend about my extensions, so look forward to that. So you'll be able to tell when I recorded it, if it was before or after extensions. Okay, just a quick story uh, for you today. Enjoy. Bye. Hi. Okay, so for once, I am not finishing my makeup in the car. Um, I have a few things I'm going to record today, hopefully, on my travels. Um, starting with something that I wasn't planning to do until um, I'd had a sort of back and forth with Shauna, Rather Be Dancing 3 on YouTube, um, <laughs> about my last haul video. And we were talking about how sales assistants um, often make like the mistake of thinking that you don't have money just because you don't look um, particularly well dressed or <laughs> you're there in your best Walmart um, couture. And it reminded me of um, when I got my engagement ring. So there's like lots of funny stories um, to do with how I got engaged. But one of them is has to do with my engagement ring. So when um, John proposed he did not have a ring, he wanted me to pick, help pick it out. Um, so we're landed, we landed in Bergen, or arrived back in Bergen in Norway um, from our trip to Paris late one evening and we had train tickets for 9.30 the next morning or 10 o'clock the next morning when we had to be at the train station by 9.30 I think to go skiing in the mountains in Norway meet my family there and we wanted to get a ring before going on the ski trip so we're in downtown Bergen in our ski gear <laughs> well mountain sort of gear at 9 o'clock in the morning when the um stores open and we have half an hour to get an engagement ring <laughs> and um, we walk into the first store I was thinking of I sort of had a couple in mind the first store I was thinking of and we asked to see diamond rings and the woman looked at us really really snootily and she took out a tray of rings and they had these like flints like little flex of diamonds and we're like this is what you have and she's like yeah this is what we have and I was like no that's just not true I was thinking that is just absolutely not true but we just walked out because you know that's not what I wanted but she wouldn't show us her other rings so then we went to the next door and we found and the woman was much much nicer and we found you know by now it's like 9 10 9 15 <laughs> <laughs> and we found this which was hand which is um, designed not my band the the ring which was designed by um, the jeweler who owned the store um, sort of private little jeweler not a chain or anything like that and it has white gold on one side and yellow gold on the other they sort of blend in the middle on the back and you know it's, I think find it the right size for me and um, we said right we'll have that and it fit my finger perfectly and have you paid cash and that was that and I walked right back into that other store and I said ha <laughs> and I walked back out again and Shauna reminded me of the scene from Pretty Woman where you know, the sales assistants are being Austin awesome to her and Richard Gere um, comes in and sets them straight. And that's how it, what it felt like. And it, I just think it shows that, like, sales assistants really should not judge people by what they are wearing or how old they are or whatever to um, judge whether they should show them merchandise or not. I mean, they're probably kicking themselves in the foot by not... Um, offering to show the 
other best things because you should always assume I think anyway that sales assistants should always assume that what you are shopping for is well no sales assistants should always assume that you have the money to buy whatever you walked into the store to see every time because otherwise they run such a risk of being hugely rude and yeah so that was sort of my experience and and Shauna's right you shouldn't be scared to walk into a designer store you should be enjoying your shopping experience so yeah so I just thought I'd share that little story today and um there you go <laughs> I'll talk to you soon I'm gonna go and record another segment now so bye <laughs>